this is Josephine and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a very non-traditional apple crumble. Um, it's my first time actually making this recipe. I wanted to experiment with some flavours of the Middle East and some maybe non-traditional ingredients to see what I could come up with. So I'm hoping it's going to be super yummy but um, of course we'll find out together. So come along with me on this experimentation and I post videos every single week so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and without further ado, let's get started. Here's what I'm thinking in terms of ingredients. So I'm thinking of using three cups of oats that I'm going to blend into oat flour, then three quarters of a cup of almonds, I'm going to be using rose water. I'm going to be using the rind of an orange, as well as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples, some delicious runny tahini, some ground cinnamon, whole nutmeg. Cardamom for sweetness. I'm going to use agave nectar, and I'm going to use some um, salt. So, here are your ingredients. So I'm starting by chopping up my apples into bite-sized pieces. As you can see here, I've used a mixture of green apples and gala apples. So the green apples are a bit more tart and the gala apple is a little bit more sweet, um, hence that combination to add a little bit of sweetness to the dish. And I'm popping those in a deep pan along with a splash of water, uh, some agave nectar. If I was going to make this again, I would add maybe double the amount of agave nectar, the cardamom seeds, some salt and some rose water. And then I will be popping this on a medium high heat with the lid on to let those start to cook a little bit. We don't want to cook them to mush, but we do want to start the cooking process. Another thing I might add if I was going to make this a more decadent dessert is just a little bit more cardamom as well as a little bit more sugar. I then began chopping up the almonds, which I added for a really nice crunch to the crumble and to add some texture to the dish. I thought this was a great addition and I'll, I would keep this if I did it again. So as you can see, I'm roughly chopping them up and I've used three quarters of a cup of almonds here into different textured pieces um, just to add some crunch and when you put them in the oven they roast as well so they go really nice flavour. Make sure your knife is sharp when you're doing this and you're keeping your fingers well out of the way. I then went ahead and checked on my apples which are looking good. I gave them a quick stir, things are steaming which is good. Pop the lid back on, you could adjust the flavour here too. And then I'm just zesting my orange. Um, I really thought it would add a nice cut to all the flavours in this dish. Um, so as you can see I'm just using a grater to zest that, tapping out the excess and I'm steaming that along with the apples. Um, was a really delicious addition. I would definitely recommend adding this if I was to recreate this dish again and maybe even using the zest of two oranges for this dish if you want to maximize the flavor. Make sure you're tasting along the way and that you like the flavor. And now I'm going to make oat flour, which is super easy. I've used three cups of oats here. I would actually half this. I didn't need that much crumble. I've also put some cinnamon in there and I grated about half uh, a round of nutmeg into there before popping that on a high blending speed and mixing when necessary and watching the magic happen. In the end you get a lovely flour which is gluten free, 
really high in fibre and really delicious. As you can see here. At this point, my apples were coming along really well and I just wanted to add a little bit of thickening agent to all those juices that were running off so I actually added a little bit of cornstarch at this stage to help things thicken and mix that in really well, adjusted a few other flavours, I added some more rose water as well as some more syrup and then I popped the lid on, switched the heat off and just let those continue to steam in the residual heat. You can absolutely adjust the flavours as necessary. This was actually super delicious and I really liked how the filling came out. So as you can see, I've just popped that to the side and then went back to creating the crumble. So I popped the flour in a bowl and to that I added some more agave syrup for sweetness. And I was trying to use tahini as butter. What I would say is it's delicious and it worked really well, but if you want something that's rich and resembles a more traditional crumble, I would definitely add some butter as well. I've also added a little bit more cinnamon here, and then I'm just mixing it together with my fingers to create a crumble-like texture. The texture was actually really great. I then added in my almonds and adjusted adding in an extra spoon of tahini as well as an extra spoonful of syrup. So I used about four spoons of tahini and three spoons of syrup so far. Once the mix is at a texture that you're happy with, you're ready to assemble. So as you can see, I got a baking dish out and placed my apple mixture in first and then layered over the crumble. My advice if I was to do this again is to use much less crumble than what I've used here. So I'd layer a much thinner layer um, to keep the moisture of the dish. So I'd probably stop at about two or three spoons of crumble. And then you can pop that in an oven at 180 degrees on fan. I've also made a small tasting ramekin full of crumble. And I let that bake for about 20 minutes until it was nice and golden on top as you can see here and then I was done so here's a little visual of my crumble and the texture so this would go so well with some custard now I'm going to let you know my thoughts so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe I have the crumble here and you know it didn't come out amazing but it's not bad let me give you my full thoughts i'll take a little taste mm. okay so the texture of the apple is really delicious mm, i feared this when i was adding the crumble on top that there might be a bit too much crumble and i think the amount of crumble has made the dish a little bit dry so I would serve it if you're going to cook it as it is with ice cream or with a vegan custard. Mm. Flavour wise I really actually like the flavours. I'm not a huge sweet dessert fan so I like the balance of not too much sugar. Mm. The apple has still a good texture, there's a nice crunch from the almonds and there's a subtle floral notes coming through from the cardamom and from the rose but it's definitely not overwhelming so if you want to make it more decadent I would definitely increase the quantity of those floral elements and I would add more sugar um, if you're wanting a dessert. As it is right now I think it would be a really delicious breakfast um, and I think maybe to make it more desserty or something to show off at a dinner party, I would perhaps use some butter or vegan butter as well as tahini in the crumble. But overall, it was a fun experimentation. I'm definitely going to be enjoying this for breakfast for this week. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye.